In this video, we're going to sketch x plus xy equals 9. The first thing you're going to want to do is factorise the left-hand side. So we're going to write that as x times 1 plus y equals 9. OK? Now, my preferred way of going from here would probably be to rearrange it to get y equals because I know that this is a rectangular hyperbola that's going to be quite straightforward to sketch. Um, now, there are alternatives to that, okay? Um, so, if you wanted to go straight from this, then the way to go about that is to recognise that you've got x, y equals 9. It's of that form. So, that's telling you the shape is going to look like this, okay? So x, y equals 9. But the y has been replaced with y plus 1, effectively. And so that means that we are translating by the vector 0 minus 1. So it's dropping one unit downwards. So actually, you will have a horizontal asymptote at y equals minus 1. The vertical asymptote will still be at x equals 0 because we're only translating the curve downwards by one unit. So then the curve must look like this. Okay. And then you'd want to find out where it's crossing the x-axis, which is when y is 0. So when y is 0, x is going to be 9. Okay, so that's probably the way the, this section is trying to get you to think about how to sketch it, okay, uh, by thinking about it as transformation. My gut instinct, as I said, would be probably to rearrange it to get 9 over x, and then y is equal to 9 over x, take away 1. Well, I know what y equals 9 over x looks like, uh, and I know the minus 1 is just going to drop it one unit down. Okay? And so you get precisely the same shaped curve doing that. Um, but this one, this type of rectang this rectangular hyperbola, these, uh, these formats, you may find it easier to rearrange into the, this form and sketch rather than consider it just in the transformation case.